It don't make me have to come over there. <laughs> Hi everyone, good afternoon. This is my lunch. My name is Tripp. So I'm having tacos today. The old El Paso tacos. And just as I was getting ready to start, somebody was mowing down there. Way someplace, I don't even know where it is. There's only been one car on this road the whole morning. And then just as I get ready to do this, a bunch of people are mowing some lawns or something. And then I spilled my water. So, but I'm recovering now. So I fixed some um, beans here. I got this great, oh, oh yeah, the thumbnail picture. There they are. So, in here you've got the little meat. And then you've got the lettuce and, oops, falling apart already. That's a bad thing about these things. They do fall apart. There's a better way to look at it. The meat, the lettuce, the tomato. And I put a little cheese on it too. I think I might put a little bit more. Don't make me have to come over there. going to break first of all. It always happens. I love your recommendations for maybe a taco shell that does not break and everything falls out. but they are delicious. Same napkin. I mean the same kind that I've used for a while, waiting for those to, to run out. Try to scoop this up here. <laughs> Feel falling out. Nice fresh onions and, and lettuce. And it continues very hot here in this part of the south. Those were whole cubes a while ago, 10 minutes ago. I've been, I keep forgetting how to organize things. For these kind of videos. But they are so good. Oh, and then I started filming and I forgot my microphone was not plugged in.
These are so crunchy and so delicious. Those are big kind of ASMR sounds. The crunch and the chewing and the ice cubes, which are nearly melted. I think they stuck around just long enough to to compromise my video. I don't hear any more sounds now. Because I guess the workers have gone. It is a beautiful but hot day. I hope they're keeping kind of cool. There they go. It's a good thing you left because I was just now getting really mad. bad about being real crumbly. Mm. There are ten of these shells that come with every one with every package and I do recommend them if I hasn't, I'd enjoyed them for a long time if you find some shells that you like better please let me know Should have had some salsa to put on them. Mm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like my taco. I guess they all kind of look like the same, I suppose. Because everybody puts tomato and, of course, meat, sometimes beans. Tomato. Lettuce. Cheese. Hmm. But I like the cheese, you just kind of sprinkle like that. That's what I like. I need my glasses now if I want to read anything since I had my surgery. But my far vision is better. I gotta stop talking about that. I don't know if people care about about nutrition but there you are it's got 130 calories and that's just in two shells and remember that's just in the shells that doesn't count what you put on them if you put a bunch of uh, some kind of a sour cream or something uh, that's going to go through the roof the calories and the fat and everything saturated fat 13% in in two shells. Mm, that's, that's a bit up there. Uh, no sugar. And no potassium, which is good for me, is I'm supposed to not have a lot of potassium. Probably some more of you are out there, out there are just like that. And maybe some that don't even know it. That you have a, a maybe a high potassium condition. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Learn more at ask.generalmeals.com. Well, I kind of like to know that now. This was um. This is General Mills. The ingredients are limed corn flour, limed corn flour, palm oil, and salt. Only three. That's really unusual. I expected to see a bunch of stuff and a bunch of a bunch of a Franken Franken type chemicals. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. And thanks for dropping by and maybe subscribing and like the video. And see you later. Bye bye.